in this case, both the powers are odd. So we've got an odd power here and an odd power here. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter which way you break this up. I can either take a term out of sine x to the power 5 or a term from cos x to the power 5. I'm, I'm going to do the cos one. Okay, so now what my challenge is, is to get everything in this square bracket to powers of sine. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, it's just a matter of going to work on the cos to the power 4. So, now it's looking a bit messy at this stage, but things will come hopefully nicely together. So expanding the, that squared uh, uh, expression, I can come up with the following. That should be a plus. Okay, so now it's looking a bit messy, but we're at a good we're at a good spot. We can now integrate each of those parts by inspection. Okay, so the first one's going to be something like one sixth sine x to the power sixth. The second one, well, it's going to be one minus one quarter sine x to the power eight and over here we're going to get something like this. Okay, but you can see how important knowing the integral of sine x times the power of cos 